Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a, a question here. Uh, this is a difficult situation. I don't even know what I'm going to say yet, but uh, it's about my boss paying for my education, but I don't want to stay. <laughs> so this is, this is kind of a complex situation here. Uh, basically, let me see. I've got a TLDR. I'll, I'll give you the TLDR, which is, this is from Donald, and he says, I work for a small company. I want to quit my job out of boredom, lack of growth, and challenge. The job itself is okay, and so are the people. I was going to use the time to tighten up some skills and learn data science, machine learning, and VR game dev. That sounds like fun. Uh, but my boss threw me a curveball and offered to pay for my education, and it looks like it's been approved. I'm 33, and time that isn't dedicated towards getting better at my end goal seems like uh, time better spent elsewhere. Would you stick it out? Uh, I've checked out a few videos, and I think you would say to stick it out for a bit and take the offer. It's a less expensive route. However, we both kind of feel the same way about the usefulness of a formal education. Uh, and he lists a few videos <laughs> that uh, I, I took uh, a look at. So he's already, he's already sh shown me some videos, so I don't point to those videos. That's a good way to get your, your question answered here. Uh, anyway, this is a good question. I think it's worth answering. So there's a few different things here to consider, right? This is a, one of those things, again, that's not a clear cut, straightforward yes or no problem. I did this video on, oh gosh, on kind of the value of money. I can't remember. It was, it was a video about, about I think it might have been even related to paying a mortgage on your house or oh, spending money or not. I, I can't remember the exact name of it. But essentially, one of the biggest elements here is what is the value uh, that that this company is paying for for you. What is the value of this education, right? So, so both in monetary terms. First of all, you got to figure out in monetary terms, right? What school you're going to go to, and how much is it going to cost? How much are they actually paying for for you? You know, maybe it comes down to the fact that they're only paying you paying like ten grand. Maybe it's the state school and it's cheap. I, I don't know. Like, well, figure out what the cost is, the value of the education. Maybe it's fifty grand. Maybe it's a hundred. That's going to greatly influence your decision here, right? If they're like, oh, well, you know, we got you into a, a fellowship program where you're going to get to study at Yale and get it, and we're going to pay for the whole thing, and you won't even have to, you, you only have to work part time, and you know, take it, <laughs> do it, <laughs> totally worth it, right? But if it's like, oh, well, we're going to pay for a couple of classes at a community college for you. Okay, you know, then, then, then the next thing to look at is, so you got the value, you figure out how much this thing is worth, right? Then you say, what is money worth to me? If you're making a lot of money, if you're making, you know, 100 and, 100 and something thousand a year and, and, and they're offering basically what amounts to $20,000 over four years that they're going to pay for you for your education, skip it, not worth it, unless you really want to do that. Uh, because you'll be working another a job that you don't want to work. You'll be passing up career advancements opportunities to save 20 grand, to save five grand a year. Not worth it. Just pay five grand a year. You can find a job making more than five grand a year if you move on in advance during that four-year period. But again, if it's like fifty thousand dollars or something like that, then you might have to consider. And it depends on how much that value of money is to you, right? It's a, it's a sliding scale. As you make more money, you have to start making decisions that, you know, I've, did this, I've, I've done this video uh, that I called the $5 rule, right? At some point in my life, I started making enough money where I implemented this $5 rule and I said, if it costs less than $5, I don't even make a decision about it. I just, I just do it, right? I don't clip coupons that save me less than $5. I don't worry about anything less than $5. Since then, I've changed that to kind of the $20 rule, right? I, I basically, and that has to graduate. At some point, when I make a lot of money, it'll be the $100 rule. I won't care about anything, any purchase or anything $100 or less, right? But you got to have those kind of thresholds, and this is where, where you're at. That's why I said it's not a straight yes or no answer. It depends on where you're at financially on how much this money essentially, and that's what you have to equate it to because this opportunity is money, but it's going to cost you time. How much is that worth to you, right? And like I said, if it's something that you could never afford on your own and you're making like maybe like 40000 a year and they're offering you to pay your education at like $30,000 a year worth of tuition, 
worth it. Invest five, four years of your life because you're not going to be able to make that money elsewhere, right? Even if the education itself isn't valuable, you know, it's no secret that I'm not a big fan of traditional education. You can watch my videos on college and, and school and stuff and why I, I actually don't think it's extremely valuable today and why I'd prefer you to go to a coding boot camp if you're, if you're starting out. But you can still make the most of it, right? And again, you can go and you can you can learn, like you can choose to not just quote get the degree, but to apply yourself and learn and to use this as, a, as an opportunity to really learn in depth and, and to increase your skills. So you can use that education, especially if you're getting it for free, but you gotta, you gotta choose. And remember, you're committing four years of your life your, or time or whatever it is. Uh, you can always change your mind later too, that's, that's another option. But I think you're gonna have to weigh that out and, and see where you're at. You know, if I had to give like general advice of, of where I would lean towards this is if you don't like this job and you feel like it's unproductive and you're wasting your time and you don't see advancement there and you don't see the value of getting the degree, then you know it's gonna, it's gonna lean very heavily and don't take this and move on. You know, you'll have other opportunities. But if, if again, if situations are different for you or you're really like trying to make it and, and you don't have a lot of financial opportunities, this could be golden, it could be worth you know, sucking it up and, and, and moving on. You could also try it out and, and you, know, you might burn some bridges, but that, that's another option as well. So it's your life. You gotta make the decision that, that's gonna be best for you. Anyway, uh, if you like this video uh, and you would like to subscribe, it's real simple to do. All you gotta do is click the subscribe button. Not a big decision you have to make. I'll just make it for you. Just click the subscribe button. You'll be a subscriber. All right, and you'll get two to three new videos a day, which I do on all kinds of topics from oh, fitness to uh, finance to college and career advancement and personal development, getting the right mindset to succeed in life. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, and you can check out some of my past videos if, if you'd like. And uh, yeah, I hope you find this valuable. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care.